Welcome back to Photo 101, your resource for all things photography. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for the latest content. And if you enjoy this video, hit that like button. Today, let's take a look at writing with light. If photography were a recipe, what would we need? Some may say a camera, others a lens, and others still might say it's too complex to list. Yet photography at its most basic is a record of light and time. Without either, photography as we know it today would not exist. In fact, the word itself quite literally means to write or paint with light, derived from the Greek words photos for light and graphia, meaning to write or draw. That's why there's no better technique to explore the fundamental ingredients of photography like writing with light. So grab your camera, set it to bulb mode for a long exposure, and settle in for a look at three artists who each demonstrate the technique in creative ways. While writing with light has many applications, long exposures with a moving light source can reveal new perspectives on everyday scenes. Objects like cars on a busy highway after dark become long neon threads weaving through the landscape. Above us, stars etch illuminated arcs across the night sky as the world spins on its axis. One artist, Andreas Feininger, demonstrates this with an image he took after dark in 1941. In it, we see that Feininger is safely situated far from the whirl of the helicopter's rotor blades, positioning his camera for a wide shot to capture the craft on takeoff. Small lights fixed to each blade provide the perfect tool to record the rotor's motion over the span of the exposure. The effect is profound. A beautiful spiraling pattern is revealed, coiling up in a way as the helicopter takes to the sky. While Feininger didn't exclusively look to writing with light as a regular technique, his interest in science and patterns in nature shine through in this image from that cold April evening. As we saw with finding her shot of the Coast Guard helicopter, the simple act of creating long exposure of an otherwise everyday scene can reveal new perspectives. Although finding her typically shied away from picturing people, another artist dedicated her life and career to exploring not only people, but the unique ways in which they move through space. The photographer Barbara Morgan worked for over four decades at the intersection of photography and modern dance to record some of the most iconic performers of the 20th century. One of her series, Pairing a Dancer with a Light Source, illuminates what she notes as the pervasive, vibratory character of light energy as a partner of the physical and spiritual energy of dance and as the prime mover of the photographic process. She found inspiration for the project by deciding to pay her respects to light and create a rhythmical light design. Morgan advocated for the importance of light as an aesthetic in photography over technical skill alone, inspiring future generations of artists to embrace ways to creatively capture movement through the lens. So far, we've seen how artists can use a light source and long exposure to reveal new details. But what about reflected light? That's where the work of Gary Schneider comes in. From an early age, Schneider demonstrated an interest in using photography to investigate identity. From handprints on sheet film to electron microscopic images of hair follicles, he asks us to question what exactly makes each of us uniquely who we are. In this series, Nudes, Schneider invited subjects for their portrait with a pretty unconventional approach. Each session took place in a darkened room beneath the gaze of the artist's camera with the shutter open. Then slowly over a period of hours, Schneider would use a small flashlight to illuminate parts of the subject. Small movements they made soften the image, blurring time and space as the artist paints light across their bodies. For Schneider, the sessions not only evoked an earlier time of portrait photography when exposure times were painfully slow, but more so it was an opportunity to forge a deeper connection between the photographer and the sitter, both vulnerable and in the dark. If you like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can check out all our resources on photography and more at mopa.org.